I just pushed a major update to the free Autoblogger bubble template. It's going to look a lot different now when you launch a new app. So we have internal linking, we have posting to Shopify, and now you can generate articles on the free bubble plan. So you don't have to sign up for a paid plan, you don't have to do the free trial. I set it up so you can do it for free now. All right, if you wanna learn how to build an AI tool just like this, check out the online course, link in the description below. All right, first thing, I've changed the layout of the autoblogger. So before everything was just on one page, now I've split it up into three different pages. Why? It was getting way too complicated to have three different post requests on one page. There was many different combinations, Bubble and Image, Bubble Dolly 2, Bubble Dolly 3, Bubble Stable Diffusion, WordPress, Shopify Dolly 3. And all these different workflows was getting convoluted on the one page. So now there's three different pages. There's Autoblogger Bubble. This page will generate articles for your Bubble website. So if you want to host your blog or your web app on Bubble and you want traffic going to these articles, you'd use this page. One thing you'll notice is there is no free way to generate articles on this page. That is because it doesn't make sense to do the free plan. If you generated articles into Bubble on the free plan, it would go to your test database and then you can't launch it on a custom domain. That process doesn't make sense to me. So if you have a paid plan and you have backend workflows, you can use this page. We have the Autoblogger WordPress page. So if you have a WordPress blog or WordPress website, you can auto-generate thousands of articles in this page and then send it to your site. If you wanna know how to set up the WordPress feature, I made a video before on my channel. There's gonna be a card right at the top of the screen right now. Click that, watch the video. But this is why you're all here. We now have auto post to your Shopify website. So you can generate hundreds of articles and then auto post them. And first, let's show you how to set it up. Quick recap on the OpenAI API. So you need your secret key. To get your secret key, go to platform.openai.com, hover over the left side and click API keys, then create a new secret key, call it whatever you want. This one is called Autoblogger. Click create secret key, copy the secret key, go back to your bubble app and paste it in here. So you're looking for bear, space, and then your secret key. That's all you need to generate articles and images with AI. Next is your Shopify API call. You're gonna need your X Shopify access token. Let's show you how to get it. On your Shopify dashboard, go to settings in the bottom left corner, and then scroll down and you're going to click apps and sales channels. Then click develop apps and then create an app. Call it what you want. Let's say bubble auto blogger. Hit create app, then go to configuration. Click configure on the admin API integration. It pops up this page. So we're gonna filter for scopes. I just wrote blog and you'll get this write and read content. Click write, it's gonna double check both of these. Click save. Now we're gonna go to install app, click install and then reveal token once. This is your Shopify X access token. So I'm gonna copy this, go back into bubble and paste it in here. Next, we need to expand the create article API call. So click expand and we have to edit our post URL. I'll just move over to show you everything that's in this URL. It's not that long, but there are a few spots that we need to change. The first spot is this front part of the URL. So mine says 92b5c0.myshopify.com and you can find that right here. So in your settings under my store, I had this URL. So copy this URL and you're gonna go like this, boom, and you're gonna paste it in. Next is this number right here, this 1082 number. This is what blog you're gonna post the articles to. So I'm gonna close settings in Shopify. I'm gonna to go to online store. I'm gonna click blog posts and then manage blogs. And whatever blog you wanna to post to, they'll all show up here. By default, I had this news one. So I'm gonna click the news blog and you're looking for this number in the URL. 
So just copy this last bit, hit copy, go back to bubble, highlight this number and paste it in. Boom. That's all you need. Now you're ready to post articles to Shopify. So we can test it out by hitting preview. And now before I test this out and enter some keywords, I think it's a good time to show the other features. So first off, you can now generate articles on the free plan. If you've watched the previous videos, you needed a paid plan in order to use backend workflows. And you can start using backend workflows on the starter plan, this $32 per month. They do offer everybody a 14 day free trial when you first sign up. So I know some people were utilizing that, generating their articles and then canceling their plan. That's still the best way to do it because backend workflows are super clean but I'm now giving you the option, if you don't have a credit card, whatever, you can do this with the free plan. And by default, backend workflows is disabled, which means it will generate articles in your browser. You can turn this on to generate articles in the backend, but again, you need a paid plan or it won't work. So I'm gonna disable it. And why this is risky is because you have to stay on the page while the workflow is running. You can't close the tab, if any errors persist, you lose internet connection, whatever, your workflows are going to die and then the articles are not going to be generated. When you generate in the back end, you're free from all of those errors. It's running on the server, on the cloud, without your control. You can close the tab, turn off your computer, leave your workstation, and the articles will still be generated. So it's super risky, especially if you're going to try to do 100 articles. I'd be shocked if it worked. But for a few articles at a time, like let's say five to 10 articles, this might work for you. Next, I'm giving you the option to generate images for the Shopify article. It's called the featured image, or you can choose no image. And Dolly 3 costs a bit of money. It costs around eight to 10 cents per image. So if you wanna save on those API costs, you can choose no image. Your workflows are also going to be faster when Dolly 3 doesn't have to create an image but you have the option now with Shopify. And as you guys know, with WordPress, we don't have the option to send images. Shopify allows us to do that. That is awesome. Next, on each page, you're gonna see an internal link URL and an internal link text. This is a cool new feature that I developed for a client of mine. And I thought this was a perfect feature to offer with the free template as well. So we all know that internal linking on a website is good for SEO. It's also good for marketing and sales. So now you can provide a URL and link text and that will show at the end of your article on your Shopify blog. You can use affiliate links, try to make some money. You can link to product pages on your website. You can link to other pages all across the web. Choice is yours, I'm giving you that option now. You can also leave it blank, but it is a cool add-on. You'll notice that when I click on backend workflows, we now have the option for post interval. That's because when you're running it in the browser, it doesn't make sense to have a post interval length of like 60 minutes, because then you have to wait at your tab for 60 minutes while the next article is being generated. And if there's any errors, any loss of connection, you're not gonna get that second article. But we can do this with backend workflows. So I'm gonna choose GPT 3.5 Turbo. That's the cheaper model. We're gonna generate with an image and now I gotta choose two keywords. Let's say my Shopify store sold sneakers and dress shoes. I'd wanna make a few articles about shoe stuff, hopefully get some traffic, and then hopefully get some sales. I'm gonna create two articles targeting these two key phrases. First one, top shoes 2024, and then best shoes to wear at a wedding. For the internal link URL, let's say I had a product on my Shopify store. We sell shoe polish. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna grab that URL to the product and paste it in. And for the internal link text, I'm gonna write, check out the best shoe polish on the web. And it's gonna say your articles are being written by the AI and please check your Shopify blog to see the results. Remember, you must stay on this page. Don't mind the red error. We are having custom events trigger custom events in a recursive flow. Nothing is broken there, but Bubble catches it as an error. Not a big deal. Again, this only happens when you're generating the freeway. I think Bubble knows we're trying to rig it. So you'll watch that green bar move across the page. 
that means your articles are being generated. And once it refreshes to a clean page, it means everything's done. So I'm gonna go back to Shopify and go to my online store, go to blog posts, and look at this, trending shoes of 2024 and the perfect wedding shoes. Two articles that we generated with AI and we targeted those two key phrases. So let's click into this one. You'll see the featured image. And then if I scroll to the bottom of the article, here is the link. And if I click that link, it goes to the shoe polish product. Beautiful. Again, there are many ways you can use this internal link URL and internal link text. You could create a full affiliate website on Bubble, drop an affiliate link here, craft articles about that affiliate offer, and then all traffic to the website will be funneled through that affiliate link and hopefully get you paid. Usually I say the update is coming soon, but I promise to not make a video unless the updates were live. Because of all of our problems with the template upgrades, Bubble has granted me immediate access. So whenever I push a change, it updates right away. There's gonna be no more waiting when we have new features to build. If you have any ideas for new features, drop a comment below this video. Let me know what you would like to add to the autoblogger template and I'll do my best to add it. Usually I would show what's going on in the back end with all the calls, but I think that's only interesting to like 5% of you. So that content is better suited for the course. It's called how to build your own custom AI app. The link is in the description. Come check it out. And if you like this video, there's two more on the page right now. YouTube does a great job of knowing what you want to watch. It's going to show them right here. Check it out. That's it for now. Peace.